Seraglio is uh, a comic story with a very touching ending. It's all about uh, a group of Spanish uh, noble ladies and gentlemen who are shipwrecked and captured and taken into the Pasha's harem um, somewhere in Turkey. And the Pasha falls desperately in love with Constanza, who's the principal lady, and he could use his power and his um, status to force her into some kind of liaison with him, but he actually wants to win her by the strength of his own heart. Uh, Constance is very drawn to him and uh, she struggles with her conscience, but before she can give in to the Pasha's desires, uh, her Spanish uh, fiancé arrives to rescue her. And the rest of the plot is all about how the captives escape from the harem and get back to Spain. We have six uh, main characters. We have the Pasha himself, who is this figure who f battles with his own desire for Constanza, but in the end he preaches tolerance to himself and in the end lets her go. Uh, he's quite a serious character. We have Constanza herself, uh, spends a lot of time in tears and grieving um, and, and at other times uh, shrieking and, and screaming that the Pasha should leave her alone. So she's a wonderfully rich dimensional character. Um, then we have Belmonte, her boyfriend, who arrives very doubting, very unsure whether she's remained faithful to him. And, but surely as the opera grow, goes on, he starts to uh, realise that she has been uh, a model of fidelity. And he kind of grows up during the course of the opera. He comes, he comes all ready to, to blame her and to be convinced that she's been unfaithful. So he realises that was not the best approach to, to come when you come to rescue your um, girlfriend. The first thing to say to her is not, oh, I'm not quite sure that you were faithful while I was away. Um, he really learns uh, as the opera goes on. There, there is the comic couple. Uh, that's Blonda, who's Constanza's maid, uh, who's a real firecracker, very bubbly. Uh, and then there's Pedrillo, who's her slightly put-upon boyfriend, who's also um, Belmonte's servant. Well, as uh, Pedrillo and Constanza and Blonda were all uh, captured by the pirates and then sold in slavery to the Pasha, they're all in Turkey, and Belmonte arrives to rescue them. Um, but Blonda, being you know a practical girl, uh, is finding the attentions of Osmin, who is the supervisor of the harem and the Pasha's one of the Pasha's most important uh, officers. Um, she's she's finding his attentions not altogether unpleasant, and she's kind of reacting. Uh, in a quite interested way to Osmin, um, which makes Pedrillo, my boyfriend, very jealous. So there's a lot of comic byplay and fun with that uh, relationship. If you like, the, the, the structure of the pieces is three love triangles. There's the Pasha and Constance and Belmonte, and Osmin, Blonda and Pedrillo. And these two love triangles that uh, work with the serious characters, if you like, in a very intense and emotional way, and with the three comic characters, there's much more fun and um, almost farcical elements to it. So there's a wonderful blend of comedy and tragedy um, in this piece. I mean, the best way to describe it is a tragic comedy, actually. The opera is, is meant to be, I think, implied is, is set in the 18th or 17th centuries. In fact, we've based it uh, on Suleiman the Magnificent's court because there's a very famous um, story about well, history where Suleiman falls in love with one of his uh, um, concubines and marries her and remains very faithful to her. And I think this could have been a sort of sparking point for the idea that uh, the Pasha is very much in love with Constanza. He just doesn't just want to add her to his, to his harem. He actually wants to marry her and make her exclusively his wife. For me, Mozart is the greatest of all opera composers uh, by some considerable way. The, his, his ability to write music that creates incredibly complex and rich characters and to have he has an extraordinary empathy and understanding with all his characters and they live and breathe uh, real human beings there's so much compassion in his music so i would recommend all the operas of mozart 
But I suppose if you really like the Entführung, as it's known in German, or the Escape from Australia, if you like this piece, then the next obvious port of call is Mozart's The Magic Flute, because that was another singspiel, which, which is a, an opera which has dialogue, um, and it was his last work for the stage. And it's, in many ways, the Seraglio is a little kind of prototype of what the Magic Flute would turn out to be, um, with many parallels between the two sets of characters. But the Magic Flute is one of the very greatest masterpieces of all opera, um, with the most profoundly beautiful music and exquisite comedy. Um, an incredibly touching piece. So yes, that would be my, my opera to go on to after the Enfurum.